Hi everybody. In this video I'm going to show you how I prepare my sketchbook for oil painting or how I did it once before. <laughs> We're going to get started uh, right after I get some coffee. sketchbook that I bought from Hobby Lobby. The list price on this I think is $30. Use a 40% off coupon. It's solid leather, deckled edges on the paper. It's really nice recycled or reclaimed paper. Um, this thing's made in India so you're helping some folks who you know, need something to do, need a job. They produce a really good product. And I'm happy to say I own more than one of these because I want to be prepared <laughs> if they stop carrying these. I really like these. Really good, high quality product here. Regardless, um, I'm going to have a, an ongoing project. Uh, every week I'm going to be painting in my sketchbook. So on this initial video, I wanted to show you how I'm going to prepare to do that. And I'm going to be using this product here, which is Liquitex Transparent, it's a clear gesso, basically. This is an acrylic-based product. You can, I will, I will include an Amazon link, an affiliate link, if you will, uh, to purchase this if you feel so inclined. Um, I'd appreciate it to help my channel and help me, but um, I actually went to Michael's and Hobby Lobby, and if you look on Amazon, and look at Hobby Lobby and Michaels, I think Michaels and Amazon, or Michaels and Hobby Lobby after a 40% coupon is about the same price as a Prime member on Amazon. So I don't feel guilty about saying you can purchase this on Amazon with free shipping and works really well. When this dries, it takes 24 hours to cure, but um, you know, after uh, I'd say 15 minutes to half hour because it's acrylic, it dries really fast, um, it feels like about 400 grit sandpaper. That's the texture of it. So it, it says that you can use it with acrylic with oils and pastels. I'm using it with oils. I've done this once before. Um, pardon me. I did this once before. Um, a couple weeks ago, I did an oil painting. I'm going to show you here. I did this oil painting in my sketchbook a couple weeks ago. This was one week after my mother's death sort of combined efforts here. I actually took a reference photograph. This is based on a reference photograph that I took at my sister-in-law Kelly's house uh, before she passed away uh, three months ago. <laughs> and I walked across the street. I was visiting her last year. I walked across the street to a ranch across the street and I took a photograph of, or photographs, a series of photographs of horses. One of the horses being this one. This is my first attempt at an oil painting in a sketchbook. And I used this method of preparing the paper that I'm going to show you today. Um, but the odd thing is I finished this painting almost to the hour, one week after my mother took her last breath. Um, I guess it's sort of therapeutic for me. Um, you know. I gave my mother a sketchbook about a month um, before she received her final prognosis from her doctor. We knew it was getting close, but we didn't know how close. And she drew some horses. And I told her what I was going to do with my photographs. I said I was going to grid them and then transfer them to canvas and paint them. I'm going to learn how to paint. And I, I told her I was going to get one of these, which is a 
proportional divider, you know, go from small scale to large scale. And uh, what she did, um, I'm really grateful for. She gridded up my sketchbook and drew horses in my sketchbook. She didn't really add any tonal values or anything. She just did an outline, you know, two of them, I think, of a horse that, you know, my mom was a, she was an artist. She was a musician. She played the, she was a church organist and a, an accomplished soloist. Um, she sang operatic solo um, pieces. Um, she got asked to sing special events at churches all the time. And she played the accordion. And, you know, she instilled that love of music in all of, her, all of us um, in the house. But also art. And I've never really acted upon it until now later in life. But, um, you know, now that she's gone, I'm going to be using her two sketches. I'm going to digitize them, and I'm going to learn how to paint them, or I'm going to paint them eventually, you know, I get a little bit better. But in the meantime, every week I'm going to be doing this sketchbook. And I'm going to do this format here is I'm going to paint on one side, and I'm going to label um, all of the colors that I used in the painting and then I'm going to write a diary. So I, I guess you might call this a sketchbook diary project. And it's going to be a weekly deal. And I think initially, you know, I'm going to start Friday and I'm going to try to record some of my work um, of what I do and I'm going to share it with you here on the YouTube channel. In the meantime, um, I'm going to get a brush here. And I'll show you what I did. Now, if you have a different way or a better way or you think that I'm absolutely nuts for doing it this way, then please let me know because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going by intuition here because I think because this paper is really smooth that I should have some sort of preparation material on it because it's too smooth. I mean, it's smooth, but I don't think... If I compare this, this feels like the gesso. This feels... Um, I'm feeling my canvas, which feels a little bit abrasive, and I'm feeling the paper, which is not so abrasive. And what I did, you know, just, I hope I didn't oversaturate the paper there, but um, I just want to get some acrylic on the paper. And I'm just covering, this is the side that is going to hold um, my painting. And this is the side. I didn't put this much. See, I'm getting better already. Um, just do cross hatch. This is the side that's going to have my um, palette use. What I'm going to put colors that I use and label them and then write a a diary entry, if you will. And that's how I do it. Now I'm going to let that dry. And, uh, you know, it, it says it takes 24 hours to dry. Um, but it's acrylic, and having worked with acrylics in the past, uh, you know, we're talking, it'll be dry to a touch in a half hour, but it really should, really should wait. And I hope I didn't oversaturate that. I'm just cleaning off my, my brush here and using water since it's an acrylic based thing. Now that bottle says you can add acrylic color to it. So if I really wanted to, I guess I, I could add some you know burnt umber and make a really uh, sepia looking mixture. Um, you know do it sort of a classical way of doing it, which is a sepia tone, but um, Yeah, I can already feel it's, it's, it feels very much like a canvas surface, meaning it's gritty, it feels that way. It, it's gone already, I mean, I can see parts of it have dried and I just checked it by a finger and it dries with a really rough mat, which is good, which is what we want. So anyhow, with that, um, I guess I'm just gonna put this over here to dry. Uh, if you're interested in watching me uh, 
on my travels of this little project, I, I invite you to subscribe. Just go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It's going to pop up here. And uh, be sure and like my video. Comment, please, if you think I'm doing this wrong or if you have a suggestion on I should do something else. Um, I realize, you know, my first painting here is, well, it's my first painting in my sketchbook. Um, my first attempt. And I, it's actually only the second time I've attempted oil. I've been working on my studio here. Um, actually, and what you're looking at here, this this surface here is my palette. This is my table next to my easel here. So I'm going to be facing my easel and have my colors here. And uh, this is just a piece of glass. It's not plexiglass. It's real glass. So hopefully that will. I, I think that's going to be a good deal. Thank you for watching again. Uh, subscribe that <laughs> way. And uh, let me know what you think. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.